the cold blood killing of a primary school teacher and the burning of her body at a place called Endau, Endau in Kitui County left the country reeling in shock with hard questions being asked by investigators beyond the excuse of poor exam results which later on according to allegations has turned out to be not the reason for her killing. Miss Daisy Mbate Mbaluka a mathematics and Kiswahili teacher at the Ndoni Primary School met her death on Monday morning when an armed mob waylaid her as she was taking her two daughters back to school. She was hacked by machetes and, you know, they poured petrol on her and set her ablaze. Her children had no other option but to flee for refuge in a nearby home. But why would a community suddenly target a helpless woman, let alone a teacher who is a teacher to their children and just decide to kill her in that way. Now, why would they even think of erasing this lady completely from them, not just from the society, but from their memory? Today in studio, I am joined by two guests who will help me discuss this matter. And we are going to look at the issue beyond the killing and look at the society. Why would a society carry out such an act? It's not just about taking the law into their own hands. It is the way they did it as well. I'm joined today in studio by Henry Courier Minor, yes. <laughs> uh, who is a mind education specialist and also I'm also joined Karibu once again <laughs> uh, by uh, Rachel. Rachel Gitu is a life coach and she's many things. Uh, <laughs> I, I won't go more into that, but uh, lady and gentlemen, thank you very much for gracing the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> what is happening to our society, Rachel? What is happening to our society? Good question. Mm -hmm. We are angry, present heart. Mm -hmm. We are bitter, past heart. Resentment, undealt, uh, undealt anger issues. Mm -hmm. One, money issues, challenges are so many. Mm -hmm. Then of course, betting is no longer bringing in money. Mm -hmm. And uh, betting was very, very inf uh, influential in giving us resources. <laughs> there are people who never went to work. Uh -huh. They only needed to sit down and just bet right. and bet and make a lot of money. And mm -hmm. they were able even to live a life that is not normal, right. like above their means. Mm -hmm. Then now suddenly betting is gone. Sport Pesa is not around mm -hmm. to give mm -hmm. people all the money. Mm -hmm. So we are angry. We are angry because betting went. So we are angry at the government because betting went. We are angry at whoever. Mm -hmm. We are hurting. Now we are bitter. Mm -hmm. Now we are resentful. But you're not talking about it. So we've incubated mm -hmm. all the anger. Mm -hmm. So one small thing, one trigger, we offload it all. Uh, yes. In Corey, a nutshell. Henry, <coughs> yes. is this just about the hard financial times? Well, uh, this may seem to be the core thing, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. There's more to what meets the eye. Just in reference of the case of which you've given, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is just one e one example of the many mm -hmm. of which are actually in existence. Yes. Some of which are even more severe than mm -hmm. actually what has uh, come to the limelight uh, in the headlines. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd actually say that uh, you know, as she's saying, we 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 are pretending to be okay. We are not okay. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem we have yeah. as <coughs> Kenyans as a society. You know. We seem to be so doing so good. Even the good mornings are a good morning. Mm -hmm. But uh, a few minutes ago, you were fighting. A few minutes ago, you were. We are pretending. We are. We are so much to the aspect whereby we, we want to seem okay. We are not okay. You know, as you mentioned, this is just one among the many headlines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Over the past week, I would say, or yes. two. Mm -hmm. uh, cases of like. Somewhere in Nyanza, a woman stabbing four of her kids mm -hmm. and then turning it on herself. Mm -hmm. A pastor recently in Mombasa, mm -hmm. killing her wife, killing the wife on the pulpit mm -hmm. and taking his own life. Mm -hmm. 
this paints a picture of the kind of society that we are living in today in Kenya. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry to say that that is the reality. Yeah. Uh, we also have the other side where, I mean, if I may add this, politics is also, Kenyan politics is also now turning to be something completely different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we go about this? I mean, how do we start addressing this kind of societal issues? First and foremost, don't be sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I shouldn't be sorry. You shouldn't be sorry. <coughs> it's the reality. It's a yes. reality. Yes. And you have so to we need to deal with it. Exactly. Yes. Let's deal True. with it. <laughs> Let's deal with it. First of all, accept there are things you can't change. Mm -hmm. Face the reality. There are things you can't change. Mm -hmm. And those things you can't change, accept them. For instance, if I've lost my job, I've lost my job. Yes. There's a certain lifestyle I cannot live. I should be able to accept and not pretend. Mm -hmm. If I was living in a big house, I should think of downsizing, yeah. cutting my bills, mm -hmm. because I don't have work to do. Sure. If my business went down, I should accept my business has gone down. Mm -hmm. I should not assume or pretend it is fine. If I pretend, mm -hmm. I'll hurt others. Mm -hmm. Then talk about it. If I have beneficiaries, let them know there's a change. Mm -hmm. I need to be real with about it. Mm -hmm. Back to being real with ourselves. Talk about it. If it's about our children, mm -hmm. talk to our children. Mm -hmm. If I don't, if for instance, like the child who had to die, commit suicide because they just couldn't go to the school yeah. they wanted and they had worked so hard mm -hmm. and their parents had gotten some other school and they were never able to communicate comprehensively. Mm -hmm. You see, the aspect of not being able to talk our real issues is a big issue. Uh, so we are keeping everything inside. To make the child understand that you're not going to this school because of this. One, two, three, four. And mm -hmm. like now we're having those who are going to class eight today. Mm -hmm. We are telling our children, work very hard. The school is saying, work very hard. But you are not telling them as parents, and by the way, a school is a school. Yes. Whatever grade you get, whatever school I will afford mm -hmm. for now, these are my resources. Mm -hmm. The school you will afford, you will still get good grades. Yeah. If like you look for the, at the KC, KCP, KCSC, KCSC. Yeah. the schools, which some of which didn't even have names sure. from wherever, yeah. and people did very well. Mm -hmm. So it's just about talking, like being open. Mm -hmm and not assuming what I'm going through is mine alone. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. And I think it's a matter that we discussed last time when you were here with the other guests, Mr. Otto Yes. Where, you know, there's the cases of, yes, the school is little known, yes. but again, it also, if it's a school that is recommended by the government, it means that there are teachers there. Yes. And about passing exam or performing well is not just about the school, mm -hmm. but it's also about the child, him or herself. Yes, true. Bona, uh, Mr. Henry, yes. you know, when we look at such things in our society and how everything is turning out to be, recently we are hearing about suicide cases of 14-year-olds, 12-year-olds, things that I think a decade ago were unheard of mm. yes. in our society, maybe mm. in other developed countries for yes. some reasons, mm -hmm. but in our society, 14-year-old, 12-year-old girl committing suicide, I mean... Uh, first and foremost, we must go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. uh, because we have may ha we, up to now we may have tried different measures, but the problem is we are dealing with the superficial mm -hmm. aspect. Mm -hmm. We are not dealing with the fundamental mm -hmm. aspect of mm -hmm. it. Uh, that is why we have to re de redefine what is life, redefine what is success, yes. redefine what is happiness. Mm -hmm. The aspect of <coughs> party after party, the aspect of uh, you know, searching for an empty happiness at the end of the day uh, leads to you know aspects of which are so detrimental within the society. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing we have to accept is that life is life. Yes. Life has challenges. Life has problems. Mm -hmm. And these problems and challenges are actually the sweetness about life. Mm -hmm. it, these are the things of which makes life to be what life is. To have meaning. Yes. Mm -hmm. But right now we have a society that is expecting just to be happy all the time, to be a smooth way all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, success, whereby now success is being termed on having an A+, plus. success is being termed on having, you know, materialistic, a big car, a big, yeah. car, big, big machine, house. big mm -hmm. house, all these kind of aspects. We are going wrong as a society mm -hmm. in this aspect. Mm -hmm. But in fact, if you check, uh, this I'll tell you for a fact, mm -hmm. search for happiness in the things of this world, it is empty happiness. Mm -hmm. It will come to an end. Mm -hmm search for something to give you happiness, today it is there, just like you said. Today you have a job. Yes, you know, it's, it, yes it's everything about yourself. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow there's no job. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? What yeah, happens? Mm -hmm. That is what I'm saying. Let's not deal with the superficial aspect of it. Let's deal with 
the fundamental. And this is what I'm calling now the blueprint of our lives. Mr. Kuri, if I may just interject, isn't it the mindset or the idea or the school of thought that we've also cultivated in ourselves mm -hmm. and in our kids that this is success? You get a D plus, you're a failure. Mm -hmm. You get an A, you're a success. You finish university, you get a job, you're a success. You don't get a job, you're a failure. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what society has taught that, us? Th that's what I'm saying. We have to redefine mm -hmm. the aspects of which and the how do we And how do we do that? And where do we start? First and foremost is like having this debate. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly is uh, also by realizing that there is, uh, you know, in the human aspect, uh, you know, there is actually what we call the mindset. Mm -hmm. The me, the inner me. Mm -hmm. The way I, I uh, the blueprint of which I have mm -hmm. is actually very important at the end of the day. Yes. That is why uh, even in terms of you go to school, they teach you English. Yes. This English is for the purposes of communicating. Yes. But doesn't mean that English is the only aspect whereby I can communicate. Yes. True. That is why uh, the ideology of b having a fixed mindset that uh, you know only people with A are successful should be arrested in this society. Mm -hmm. And we start that from the mind itself. Mm -hmm from setting up, like she's saying, when I'm sending my child to school, uh, I should give them that you know, mindset that actually, you know, there's, there's, there's another way in sports. Mm -hmm. There's another way of which you can make it in the arts. Mm -hmm. There's another way of which, even if you want to become a musician, mm -hmm. there's, there's a leeway, there's, there's actually that path. Sure. Mm -hmm. Other than just instill, you know, like, we're not robots. <laughs> Programmed. Exactly. <laughs> We cannot even program. I'm, I, I'm talking this from the perspective whereby even the teachers themselves, uh, check the society, our police officers, you know, our teachers, mention any kind of profession right now. Mm -hmm. They're also having issues of work ethics and all this. It's, it's a pressure too much in, into the human being aspect and uh, not knowing that uh, it will explode at one point. Rachel, yes, sir. you mentioned anger. Mm -hmm. You mentioned as you know, this society being resentful, yes, and you mentioned this big challenge of, you know, financial mm -hmm. stability. You know, Sportesa Zilienda, Betin mm -hmm. Zilienda, mm -hmm. and now all these youth who used to, you know, earn some money from betting and everything are jobless. And actually, in the case of uh, the unfortunate case of Madame Daisy, uh, who was killed in Kitui. You know, two young men are actually in police custody today as being part of the mob that, you know, mm. lynched the lady. So you find majority of these are young people. Mm -hmm. How do we talk to these young people about this anger? And how do we really address this thing in a way that it is understood? Because addressing it is one thing. Yes. But then being understood is another. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you just sound like, you know, a clang bell to these people, ni kama unapigia mbuzi gita? One, we have to tell ourselves the truth. Mm -hmm. Success is a journey. It doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. The microwave, I need instant, 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 yes, yes. is really working against us as a society. Mm -hmm. Because I want to finish school today, and I want to get a good job tomorrow, and I must be paid very well, and within six months I must be promoted to become a manager, and uh, at the end of six months, nine months, I'm driving mm -hmm. my dream car. At the end of one year, I'm having my dream house. Mm -hmm. That does not happen. Success is a journey. Mm -hmm. But how do we look at it from a perspective like being normal? The same way you cannot do a birthday today and tomorrow. <laughs> if, my, if my birthday is 20th January, it's the 20th next birthday will be next year, 2021, <laughs> 20th January. Yes. So. I have 366 days or 365 days mm. to grow. Mm. So the moment you look at ourselves and tell everybody, success is a journey. It is a story. Mm. It is a process. Mm. And it is not smooth. Actually, the, the successful people will tell you life has been hard. Mm. They have failed many times. Mm. They've made many mistakes in life. Yes. But they've never given up. So our, our love for instant, mm. quick, so that we can fit in, in a certain group and a certain clique who wear designer clothes and uh, who, ha who meet in particular joints is really working against us. The instant money, mm -hmm. do you know instant money has even affected, even we 
older generations. Mm -hmm. You find there are people who are get who want the instant money, take care of their lifestyle. So it's, it it all comes back to me. My success story is every day I become a better person. So my best challenge is me. So if today I am like this, tomorrow I shouldn't be this way. Yes. That way I'll never blame anybody for my failures. Right. If I'm not doing well, I'll not say it is Fulani. I'll not go and lynch somebody because mm. I'm angry. If you didn't promise me a, a something, say you promised me uh, a kibarua, mm -hmm. and then you didn't give me, I'll not be angry at you. Mm. I'll be like, there's still tomorrow, sure. and I can learn from that I didn't get today mm. and learn how to wait. Mm. But now we want, if you tell me, promise me something, I must get it now. Mm. If I don't, I'm hurt. So I become angry at you. And yet, you're not in a position to give what I needed. So it's back to telling ourselves the real story, the reality. Mm. Things don't happen overnight. You don't plant today and harvest tomorrow. And at times you plant and never harvest. Korea, what brings this anger? Because Rachel is talking about this anger, deep anger in us, resentfulness that is in, this, in, in, in our society today. Mm -hmm. And you say that we are dealing with the superficial, mm -hmm. right? What is the fundamental? What happens is that, uh, as she's saying, it's very true, it doesn't happen just overnight. Mm -hmm. Like in the case of, uh, you know, having anger, you know, it's, the anger is just a, it's a display of actually a few what steps, yes, yeah. what has actually been going on. So the first and foremost thing is that uh, people have developed a weak mind. Mm -hmm. Weak mind in this aspect that, uh, you know, uh, for example, pick chocolate and pick a rock. Mm -hmm. You know, if I hit on a chocolate, it crushes mm -hmm. very easily. Mm -hmm. But if I pick on a rock, it's very difficult to actually crush it. Sure. That's why people with a weak mindset, you know, small issues that come into their life, they crush them. Mm -hmm. Now from that point, they start piling up anger. Mm -hmm. Now, not speaking about it, piles it even more. Mm -hmm. So the aspect here is uh, the way we bring up our children and the way even ourselves we, we, we are thinking about life is that we're thinking about life, life is easy. Life is never easy. Mm -hmm. Now if I had that mentality, then any small challenge that comes to me, I'm in a position to actually absorb that and even grow bigger with it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is challenges come, instead of making me bigger, they're making me more smaller, smaller and smaller. Then in your thinking? Yes. Now, <coughs> here we have a case, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm trying to think, you know, there's so many dimensions of looking at something. Mm -hmm. And besides just that, there's also the issue of, you know, there's a law of the land. Mm -hmm. Before you arrest someone and decide to lynch this person, you must make some decisions. You don't mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. wake up. It, it doesn't just happen, mm -hmm. you know. And this is something that seemed to be planned very well because meeting her in the morning, taking her children to school, already, you know, ready with petrol, there is something that was premeditated. Mm -hmm. And it is sickening to even try and imagine that people would sit somewhere and plan. And even if you think about the children, what they saw, you know, what their mother went through, yes, she may have been involved in some shoddy business like the police investigation, say. But then when a society reaches that point where they just, I don't know, should I call it a one-sided thinking? Okay, let's put it like this. Mm. Let's draw the pictures. Let's mm. get graphical. Yeah. We are sitting down to plan a negative thing. Mm. So what are we projecting in this negative thing you're planning mm. to do? He's, for example, he's angry, I'm bitter, you're resentful. Mm. So all of us are, have gotten an outlet to show, to bring out what is in our mm -hmm. hearts. Mm -hmm. Then you're not sensitive. At that point, you're not even remembering there's a law of the land mm -hmm. because we have been carried away by our negative emotions which are hurting us mm -hmm. from the inside. The aspect of lynching her in the presence of her children, mm -hmm. it means our eyes are blind. Mm -hmm. We are not seeing these are lives we are affecting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The trauma in those children, they will not forget. It's a lifetime. They will never forgive the society. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what their mother did. Mm -hmm. They will be like, people are heartless. Human beings are heartless. So this is a bitter society that is creating another bitter society. You know, you've passed it mm -hmm. in the next generation. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. now those children are already in a trauma wherever they are. Mm -hmm. They will never understand. Never. But now we are projecting it. Mm -hmm. 
our our pain we have forgotten the law mm -hmm. not even the way we speak even like in the politics you hardly hear anything positive yeah, yeah. you don't hear <laughs> it's insults negative and when you listen to their language and you look at their body language yeah, yeah. they are projecting anger okay. we are bitter we are resentful we want to fight i don't know what we are fighting yeah. And we cannot afford to be fighting all of us. I think we should pray for you should, <laughs> you should pray for journalists because we are the ones who cover these stories every day, twenty four seven, yes. I mean, seven days a week. True. But Henry, yes. What I'm getting here is I'm getting people who are wounded, mm -hmm. but then there's no cure for the wounds. What What happens? This is it. Uh, we are not within the normal logic. Mm -hmm. Normal logic has totally gone away. Mm -hmm. The reason being, we are already within one pipeline. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm not in my normal logic, the law is not anything. Mm -hmm. Lynching person is not anything. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I have already fallen victim of a certain thought. Mm -hmm. Once I've fallen victim to a certain thought, no matter what, mm -hmm. I am within this thought of thinking and this is what I'll do. That is why the society right now, even the things of which we are mentioning here, you know, this it has become normal, normal. Mm -hmm. because we've got into a level whereby we are not within our normal logical thinking. Mm -hmm. For example, one person takes alcohol, one, two, three, I don't know, I am not here to stand mm -hmm. measures in terms of <laughs> up to which level you think in normally, mm -hmm. but there's a certain point whereby you reach, then you cannot operate on a normal perspective. Mm -hmm. We are drunk Anger. with sickness. We are drunk within our own thoughts mm -hmm. and within our own perspective, with a fixed mentality. Mm -hmm. That is why people are not thinking within their normal. But they say that Kenya, Kenya is a Christian, you know, society, and it's more than they say eighty percent. I don't know how true that is. How many journalists do we have, or how many people <laughs> call themselves journalists? So many. How many mm -hmm. people call themselves Christians? So many. <laughs> you see, like now, the Christian aspect was really brought out by this pastor who decides to murder his wife yes, in cold yes. blood in mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. You know, like... And take his own life. You know, mm -hmm. like, that was a very heroic act. <laughs> According to his... No, I'm thinking like a human being. Mm -hmm. This is a heroic act. Why? Because I've, I've done it in the, pre in, the, in the very place we've been building. Mm -hmm. So I have left a mark. But then after the heroic act, according to the negative thought, then he wakes up to the reality like, I have made a mistake. Mm -hmm. The law will take its course. Then he murders himself. Mm -hmm. But then later on, the police come with a whole list of grievances. So now all these grievances, why don't you let go and allow people be? I mean, everybody is different. Mm -hmm. You can't think the way I do. You can't behave the way I do. I must learn to let go. He is said to have left a seven page list uh, of grievances. Uh, what? How so you said not. Where do you get time to do those? You just let, I mean, let go. You can't carry everybody. How do you just let go? I mean, you know, for people who understand how the mind works, then it's easy for us to say let go. But then there's a society out there that is sick. A okay. society out there that doesn't know. Uh, what, what actually happens is this. We all have a source. We all have a creator. Mm -hmm. We all have a place whereby we are able to tap and mm -hmm. it flows onto us. Nobody is a source by themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the biggest problem here is that we, the source that actually people are taking from uh, is the evil mm -hmm. aspect. You know, I, I don't the dark force. It's a dark force. Mm -hmm. Therefore, by the time <laughs> it's reaching me, mm -hmm. it has no option but to you know, manipulate me and mm -hmm. do whatever it is. Uh, and by the way, all these things of which are happening is not new. In the good book uh, of Romans, mm -hmm. it's, it's already there. Mm -hmm. These things are already there. You know, I was trying to refer to something called a reprobate mind, because actually it says the Lord has given people to a reprobate, yeah, mind. reprobate mind. And then reprobate mind, people are doing just anything. And imagine a place whereby it comes and then God now is like, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they refuse to establish God in their hearts. So yes. he gives them a way to... So as long as we are not establishing our creator, as long as we are not establishing God, mm -hmm. the true God, mm -hmm. then for sure, then you will go. Society can never... Exactly. You know, have focus. Yes. Rachel, it's quite interesting because, you know, we live in a society where it's either people shy away from 
the Bible or religious guidance, spiritual guidance, if I may call it that, mm. when they feel like, no, 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 this is going to go against us, or even some hide within the religious or, if I may call it, spiritual realms to protect themselves from facing reality. Mm -hmm. We've had issues, I don't know if I should mention this, but issues of accusations of what una beba gunia wakienda kanisani na hizo kanisa mbona muulize watu wametoa isadaka wanatoa mingi wapi mm -hmm. and men of the clothes stand and say wewe ni wapi kwa biblia umewahi kuona mahali Mungu anauliza sadaka imetoka wapi <laughs> you know that is the society that we live in mm -hmm. but then Henry has brought up something that is very interesting and very important also i would like to draw your thought on this that he quoted the book of Romans mm -hmm. that says people, God has given people a way to a reprobate mind. Why? Because they've refused to establish him, to acknowledge him in their hearts. Mm -hmm. Do you share the same school of thought? Uh, yes, that is one. Mm -hmm. Then, you see, in, in Genesis, let's go to the beginning, mm -hmm. we've been given free will. God does not decide for us. Yes. He's allowed us. When he created us, mm -hmm. he gave us a mind. He gave us dominion. Yes. So dominion, you've been given a free will to choose. Mm -hmm. So you can choose to follow God or you can choose to follow yourself or choose to follow anything else mm -hmm. because you all choose to follow different things. Yes. By the end of the day, my choices will determine how my life will be. And uh, the choices I have made for myself, mm -hmm. um, they'll judge me as well. But then aspect of... Uh, judging each other or being negative or uh, challenging mm -hmm. and we don't be real i would say that is a bit of laziness on our oh, side right. because as part of being healthy you're supposed to sit down and call yourself a meeting and tell yourself i don't like one two three four how do we take note or do we keep calendars of our diaries of our lives or do we just wake up and life takes us you see life should not drive me yes i should have i should take charge of life mm -hmm. but now when life drives me i'm not in charge anything that comes i take it mm -hmm. for instance there are people who wake up in the morning and wait for what will happen like i kesho we'll see how things will run mm -hmm. so if, if i'm waiting for the day mm -hmm. to run me then i'll always find myself in situations which i'll never be in control mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. but if i'm in charge of my life i'll decide when i wake up in the morning mm -hmm. i have to tell myself a good thing for instance it is not normal to wake up it is not a right to wake up there are people who don't wake up so i should wake up and say you know what this is a new day Yes. At least I should thank the creator for giving me a new day mm -hmm. and then program my day. Mm -hmm. And then if I had some things I didn't deal with, the people who hurt me yesterday, you're supposed to forgive before the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. But some of us take too long. So wake up and forgive those people who did you bad things yesterday. Don't carry them forward. Because right. when you carry them forward, they're not they're bringing us to what you're talking about, our minds being sick. Mm -hmm. We've clouded our minds with everything that is wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's back to us. Let's be take charge of our own lives mm -hmm. because they've been given. I'm in charge of my own body. Yes. I'm in charge of what life gives me. Mm -hmm. I should not just take everything that comes. Mm -hmm. I should be in charge. I should be real. I should decide what I take in yes. and what I do not. Yes, because I can't take in everything. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I always say I can't fight all battles. Mm -hmm. And there are some battles which I choose not to fight. Not because I can't fight, mm -hmm. but for the sake of peace. Because if I fight him, and then he comes and fights you, mm -hmm. and then we fight the other person, we've created a, a battlefield. For what reason? Mm -hmm. I can choose to retreat. It may look like cowardice. Today, if you retreat from a battle, mm -hmm. you're not hailed, you're not a hero, mm -hmm. you're not praised because mm -hmm. you're a coward. But at the end of the day, yeah. you have fought for peace. Yeah. So it's not all battles we fight. It is not everything that we get ourselves into. We choose. Quite interesting, because... There's one quote that I love by one uh, legendary reggae musician yes. who said that he who fights mm -hmm. and runs away mm -hmm. lives to fight another day. True. Mm. Uh, Korea. Yes. Uh, I wanted to take a short break, but ben, before we take a short break, do you think that uh, there's a way, there's a way in which this society that we are living in right now, because we've pointed out, mm -hmm. clearly, we've pointed out that indeed there is a problem. And then this problem needs to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. These wounds that people live with in their heart, is there a way to heal? 
Yes, this is a way to heal. Mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, I think what we are talking about here is that uh, we are already on the wrong. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong. So first and foremost, let's accept we are wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it is not until I, you know, I ill and then I go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So let's all agree we are yeah. sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From that point, then we can get healed. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether this is worth mentioning on, on TV, mm -hmm. but even institutions of which have been caught on the wrong side yes. right now are in the best position to correct and move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Problem is, ah, see to Kosa, we are okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or even if the rot is found within the institutions. People still say it's okay. And we blame the other. Ah. We still have, <laughs> no, it is, we, exactly. we always have oh, this finger. Yes. 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 Until that problem, until we identify, we are sick. Let's mm -hmm. all go to the hospital. Let's all line up. Mm -hmm. Then from that point, we can get healed. Problem is, even the politics you are talking about, mm. what is it about? Hey, me, I'm good. Yeah, mm. 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 It's, mm. And we find ourselves right now fighting over something that no, we don't even know what we're fighting about. I mean, <laughs> reason, I, I was talking to a friend the other day, I, it was after the show, and we were talking about the BBI thing, and we were like, there are everybody, nobody is against the BBI, mm. but everybody is fighting everybody. So, mm. one thing. But you have not even seen it. Have <laughs> you seen it? I mean, we, are we are still waiting. <laughs> not everybody I've has seen, seen it. And bits no. of it. So not everybody has read. Uh -huh. So at least we should be addressing it from a point of knowledge. Oh, now we are addressing it from a point of uh, imagination mm -hmm. or assumption. Mm -hmm. And then we're giving it all the negative energy. We put in mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. no, we all, it's, it's ambiguous. Yes. We yeah. don't know. But we all know. Everybody is fighting. Everybody is fighting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is it. We are all the same. We are all the same. Mm -hmm. Irrespective that it seems as if one is better than the other, mm -hmm. one is driving a ProBox, the other one is driving a TX. Mm -hmm. That is just, I <laughs> said, that is just superficial. Mm -hmm. Inward, we are all the same. Mm -hmm. Well, hold that thought, because I want us to pick it from there. Mm -hmm. We are all the same. Then how do we now come from there and change mm -hmm. in the society that we live in? Mm -hmm. if, you are, if you're just joining us, today I am in studio with Henry Kuria, a mind education specialist, and Rachel Gitu, who is a life coach. And as I mentioned, she's many things, but we'll talk about that later on. For now, I want us to take a short break, but when we come back, I would like us to continue with this discussion because the ills in our society are increasing. And what seems to perturb me is that there's no one really who is trying to fix the societal fabric. Everybody is busy trying to fix the infrastructure, trying to fix the financial, you know, economic uh, development, trying to fix the politics of the country. But no one is really focusing and putting their heart into correcting or fixing the societal fabric. We want to talk about that more. For now, we take a short break. We'll be right back. We are joined today by Henry Kuria and Rachel uh, Gitu. And today we are discussing about the ills that have taken our society. And it's quite interesting that the, all these things that are happening, and uh, there seem to be a few people who are sober, but then the majority, and even those in positions uh, able to influence the change, are also into that trance. They are not also aware that you know, there's a problem. Uh, right before the break, uh, during the break, before we came back, uh, we were having this conversation and I heard that <laughs> we are living in a society where everyone is right. So we are looking for that person who is wrong. <laughs> and the person laughing is <laughs> responsible <laughs> for, <laughs> I'm quoting the person who is. Rachel, who is this wrong person that we are looking for? I don't know. It's a person who is causing all these problems. Uh -huh. But I am right. Mm -hmm. Everybody is right. I am right. Everybody is right. There's mm -hmm. nobody who is wrong. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm making my mistakes, mm -hmm. I am right. Mm -hmm. Even when I have failed, I don't want to accept I have failed. I want to say I am right. Mm -hmm. But I have this one person I want to blame. So, if, for example, if it's a business that has gone down, I was, I was using the example of a business. Yes. I'm doing a business and then uh, you, somebody's, uh, somebody asks me, assist me with my business. Mm -hmm. It's going down. Actually, I'm about to close. Mm -hmm. And then they will, I'll give them a neutral view. From my analysis on a neutral perspective, yes. we have made a mistake. One, two, three. They will tell you at some point, no. 
You you don't know. Mm. I am the one who knows because I have been running this business. By the way, how many businesses have you been running mm. for you to come and tell me where I've gone wrong? And some of these things are so clear. For instance, if the wage bill is over 50%, mm. definitely you'll be running the, the organization down. But they will tell you, no, you don't know. I have been running this wage bill like this for years. So this person is right. How will they get help? And that is where we are as a society. Yeah. Do we, can we accept help? Because it is until I admit I am wrong, I have failed. I will be able to get help. Mm -hmm. But until that moment, we are all right. Yes. So nobody is wrong. Mm -hmm. So you are looking for that person to blame the for everything that is, is happening. Mm -hmm. The yes. person who is wrong. Who is wrong? There is an example that I would like to draw. <coughs> but uh, some Western uh, nations will not agree with me to pick such as an example. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a country called Rwanda. Yes. And uh, Rwanda is recently, a report by the World Bank showed that Rwanda is the fastest growing economy in Africa. Mm -hmm. Though it cannot still match the giants, the likes of Ethiopia and Nigeria, mm -hmm. but it's the fastest growing economy in the whole of Africa. True. But then look at how what happened in Rwanda 24 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's, we're talking about the genocide in 1994. Mm -hmm. And look at the transformation that has happened in the country as much as not many people agree with the regime and with the leadership mm -hmm. but look at what has happened in rwanda one thing as i was reading about rwanda then i was shocked because there's an example that many people even i think the former u.s president barack obama who when he came to kenya at kasarani he mentioned and he took this as an example before, on his way to Kenya, as he was going to, I think the previous year he went to Ghana and people expected he would come to Kenya, but then that year he didn't come to Kenya, he went to Ghana. In his speech in Ghana, he mentioned. In his speech, on his speech in Kenya, he mentioned. And also when he went to Addis Ababa and addressed the African Union, he also mentioned. He gave the example of South Korea, who 50 years ago was poorer than most African countries today, but today is among the top economies in the world. But then if you look at Rwanda, as I was reading somewhere, I realized Rwanda adopted to a system that was implemented to revamp the Korean society, to bring Korea to what it is today. You said something very interesting, but then I would like to hear Henry's thought on this. My business is failing. I ask you for advice. But when you come to tell me about what to do or how to do, then I still try to impose my own thinking. I've been doing this for a while, I've been doing that. And is it high time that we accept as Kenyans, Henry, that help needs to come from outside? Uh, <clears throat> that is very true. Uh, that's what I was saying. In initial sense, nobody's a source of happiness by themselves. Nobody's a source of you know, uh, trying to you know, you know, manufacture and you know, produce mm -hmm everything by yourself. Yes. You have to have a source. Uh, let's take one step back as we come to you know, the development of Rwanda in this country. In our very own local example, the buildings of which are coming right now, are they more beautiful or they're more ugly than earlier buildings? Definitely they're more beautiful. More beautiful you know, yes. the design and something like this. Then why is it? It is because of the design and the blueprint of which the architects are coming up with. Mm -hmm. They are different. Yes. Different designs by these architects. The blueprint of these buildings is totally superb. That's why these buildings are coming up superb. Mm. Then why is it that right now the society seems to be on the bad? Simply one the thing. Blueprint. The blueprint and the mindset of which we have is totally rotten. Sure. That's why we have no choice but to see the things of which are there. That's why even like a country like South Korea and uh, other examples of which I've picked up, speak about Rwanda, speak about Singapore, mm. speak about all these kind of things. The, they mainly concentrated on the human resource, on the mindset of these people. Mm -hmm. Then from that point, then for sure we can be able to see the outcome results of it. Because yes, people want good results and something like this, but first and foremost, the design, the mindset of which people have mm -hmm. is what is most important. And Kenya, we are blessed with a very good human resource. Mm -hmm. The aspect is, what is the software that this human resource is using? Could this be a problem? Because, I mean, when you study communication in depth, you realize that they talk about systems of management. 
mm. and then there's the oriental system of management mm. which is more behavioral mm -hmm. they're more focused on mm -hmm. why is henry behaving like this today at work mm -hmm. could someone talk to henry why is rachel you know <laughs> but then as opposed to the western style where it's just about performance mm -hmm. we listen to the news and you know statistics are giving us Kenya has increased the economy can by... I, can I shock Kenyan you? Economy has Our very by. good constitution mm -hmm. that uh, we actually saw as if it was the new dawn for each and every one of us actually speaks about continuous training for each and every one. Mm -hmm. How many trainings <coughs> happen within a company? How many trainings happen within an institution? People don't invest in training. May no. it be public or private. Mm -hmm. And if there's a training, I'm sorry to say, at the end of the day, it's about, okay, you come train and then... I'll see what okay. exactly. Something else. We have papers are good. Yes. And uh, in Kenya we love papers. Mm -hmm. To get good jobs you have to have the good papers. Good papers. I always say this and I know I'll get a backlash for it. Mm -hmm. Somebody who stays in school for 10 years to get a master's or a PhD mm -hmm. is not the same like somebody like Rachel who has been on the ground doing the groundwork for 10 years. 10 years. I have an exposure. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. And this one has papers. So if you're going to give us work, balance. Mm -hmm. This one is bringing in experience. This one is bringing in papers. Yes. And of course, at the end of the day, what we learn in school has to be put some practicals. Mm -hmm. And what we learn in school, even when you do, say, communication, when you go to an organization, say, like, come here at GBS, mm -hmm. the communication you learned in school is not what you come and practice. It is, it is completely, totally different. Mm -hmm. So now, when we fall in back to, we must have these papers for you to deliver, mm -hmm. it, it limits because the person who has the papers does not have all the exposure. So and papers we, can be bought. Precisely the point. So like when you do something, for example, when you, like I do, or when you do stuff like for substance rehabilitation, yes. I have been to hab rehabs and they ask me for papers. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, you want to see my masters. Mm -hmm. I have my masters in experience. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this one, this one has been doing one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and you need to give them a time, even if they have been here, give them three years to forget the alcohol they've been taking, say, for five years or 10 years. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, where did you read that? And I'll tell them, I don't need to read it. It is practical on the ground. On the ground yeah. It takes somebody time to get from an addiction. Mm -hmm. It takes time. So the, we are lacking that balance. Mm -hmm. We are focused on the papers. How many papers do you have to present? We are losing the aspect of there are people on the ground with so much experience that can be of help as opposed to somebody who is having the papers. Mm -hmm. So our society is still, we still have the biases. So and we are working against Are we running away from our reality? Because I think it's a, a few years back I had the privilege of... Uh, you know, having an interview with the, the he was then uh, the Minister for Public Health, uh, Professor Anyang Nyongo in his office. And he was just giving me an ordeal after he came back from the States mm -hmm. to get treatment. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned to me, in the, in the hospital where he went, he was being treated for his cancer, mm -hmm. there was a, a section, a wing, for alternative medicine, for mm. prayers, yes. for herbals, mm -hmm. if you, that's the kind of treatment that you prefer, yes, they'll put you in the facility, but but then they also have the conventional mm -hmm. medicine, which for those who want to do, do. Today, Henry, when we look at our society and how do we have these alternatives in terms of, you know, churning our way forward in solving our problems? Mm -hmm. Your question is, are you, are you having open-minded people? Yes. Are you people who we have people who are actually willing to bring in new ideas mm -hmm. and uh, new especially uh, in decision making positions solutions. Mm -hmm. yes we do have some people mm -hmm. uh, but uh, i think we, we are still lagging behind in terms of people who are open minded in terms of uh, you know solving the actual problem as per se mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> as she said it's because everybody thinks that they are right everybody thinks they're doing doing it right mm -hmm. so uh, when people are having this aspect of doing it right, sometimes you have to fail for you to understand that you are not doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, your question actually uh, is, are we having people? Yes, when I look at uh, the country right now, five years from now, I know the very big difference, mm -hmm. very big difference. Because there we, we have remnants of whom actually are out there mm -hmm. and doing the right thing what? at the right place. Focus on doing the right thing. Have a sober mind mm -hmm. and have a strong heart. Mm -hmm. 
so I have no doubt. So this this is going to cut across politically, socially. And yes, oh, you know, you know. The first and foremost, the first thing is that uh, we, as I said, we accept that we are sick. Mm -hmm. So for those people who have gone to a hospital and they are seeking treatment, mm -hmm. for sure they will they will get treated. Hit. Yes, and these are the people now who are also going to go and out there and tell others you are also sick. Kujia ni kuonesha penye nilienda hospital. Nilienda hospital ni katibio. Yes. Are you optimistic of the same, Richard? Yes, I'm optimistic. We still have people who are open-minded. Mm -hmm. But then again, as a society, can we become flexible and adapt to change? Mm -hmm. We can't do things the same way all the time. Mm -hmm. If it's not working, change it. Mm -hmm. That's the rule of life. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing math, if I'm doing my business or I'm doing this job and it's not helping, mm -hmm. I'm still getting the same results. I can't do the same thing the same way and expect better results. Mm -hmm. It means I need to sit down and have a meeting with myself mm -hmm. and change. And also accept to fail, accept to make mistakes, yes. and, af and uh, accept mistakes are not uh, a curse in life. You know, we, we treat failure and mistakes like such a big thing. It is blown out of proportion. It is even a point of discussion. For instance, if you are married and your marriage did not work, it is such a big yes. deal, you know. It is discussed everywhere like you have murdered. You have not murdered. Mm. You just tried and it didn't work. It didn't and you should not be crucified for mm. it. Wake yes. up, wash yourself and pick up your pieces. Yes. So it's about being, as he's saying, open-mindedness and then flexibility. And then allow change. You can't be the same. You can't wear the same shirt or trouser every day for 20 years. It will need mm -hmm. some change. As we conclude, Korea, maybe yes. your parting shot to this because I believe we have less This is my parting shot. As a society, we may not change the months we have for drought. Mm -hmm. We may not change the months that we have for the rainy season, mm -hmm. but we can change our mindset mm -hmm. such in a manner that when it rains, we can harvest. And then when this drought is there, then we can at least do something with it. Mm. So th the aspect is that we may not change everything, mm. but if we change our mindset, things will change. Things will change. Yes. So change of mind, change of life. Yes. You change your world. Change of the society. Rachel, your parting shot. Parting shot. Be positive about everything. Look at every challenge, every failure, every mistake as a learning lesson. Mm. Make the best out of it. Don't look at it like a hurt or a disappointment or put it like an ang something that has cost you pain. Look at pain like a lesson. It will make you a better person. Every day you will grow to new things. Look at life differently. Be flexible. Change. Adapt to the new changes. Don't do things the same way all the time and expect the same results, same results or yeah. different results. Be flexible. Flexibility will help us. It will also help our next generation. Let's not be too rigid. We need to impact our next generation with positive energy mm -hmm. so they can become better than us. But if you are not going to change and become positive and better, they will not be better than us. Thank you very much. Well, we, are, we have come to the end of this discussion. And you had it for yourself. We cannot change the seasons, but we can change our mindset. And when we change our mindset, then we know what to do with the rainy seasons and what to do when there's drought. And especially at a time like this, when there's locusts, uh, you know, invading the country, we will also definitely know how to solve the problems. And on top of that, Rachel Gitu is saying, let's be flexible as a society and let's be open-minded, share this with the next generation to heal. But the thankful thing is, amidst all this confusion and amidst all this cloud that is hovering above our society, there is still hope. Henry is saying there's a remnant that is left to salvage the situation, which is a good thing. Well, for comments, suggestions, or opinion, you can send that to our SMS line, 21144. You can also keep the conversation going on our hashtag, that's GBS Morning Extra. Our Twitter handle is at Kenya GBS. My name is Timothy Omoni. Do have yourself a lovely day and enjoy the rest of your week. See you again tomorrow, God willing. Bye-bye for now.